If you are making a game, at some point, you may notice that your game appears to be frozen when switching between scenes. Using the load method to load the new scene could be the reason your game is unresponsive. That's because the load function blocks the main thread till the scene is loaded. So to fix this issue, we can switch to a temporary loading screen scene. Then, the loading screen scene starts loading the new scene in a separate thread using the load threaded request function. While the scene is loading in the background, we can use the load threaded get status function to check how much of the new scene has been loaded to update the progress value in the loading screen. The load threaded get status returns an enum value. A value of 1 means that the resource is still loading and a value of 3 means the resource finished loading. So, we can use this information to switch to the new scene when it finishes loading. Let's take an example. To get started, you will need three scenes. One scene will be our current scene. In this case, the starting scene is the menu. And one scene will be the new scene we are switching to. In this case, it is the main level of the game. And one scene will be our loading screen scene. In this case, it is just a black screen with a single value that will show the progress of loading the new scene. When the user clicks on the play button in the menu, this on button press function is executed. It switches us to the loading screen scene. The ready function of the loading screen scene loads the new scene in a background thread by passing the path of the new scene to the load threaded request function as an argument. Then, in every iteration of the process function, we check the status of the resource using load threaded get status. Load threaded get status takes two arguments. The first argument is the path of the scene being loaded. The second argument is an array. Godot writes a value between 0 and 1, which specifies how much is left for the scene to be loaded. A value of 1 means the resource finished loading. We can display this value to the user by updating the text in the loading screen scene. Finally, we check if the scene finished loading or not. If it didn't, then we have to wait for the next iteration of the process function. If it did finish, we can get the loaded scene using load threaded get. And now, we can change to the new scene. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.